Hi there, I'm Eddie. Thanks for practicing yoga with me today. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give my video a thumbs up. Thank you. Welcome everybody. Thank you so much for coming. Happy that you are here to share some yoga with me this morning. Um, my name is Eddie. If you don't know me, thank you so much for coming. And I always start by saying just go at your own pace. We are not competing with each other. There's no competition here. Um, just do the best that you can do. Try and breathe the whole time. We're actually going to breathe uh, in the beginning. We're going to do a little breath exercise to start our class. Um, yesterday I taught a class that was uh, kind of around uh, lower back, particularly strengthening and stretching and just lower back support. And someone asked me if I would record that class. And so I said, yes, let's basically do that same class again today. I think people really liked it. Let's do that same class again today. And it's going to go up on YouTube. It'll go up this Sunday. So um, for those of you who want lower back support, it'll be something that is there for you. What I was saying yesterday is when you're thinking about your lower back, don't just think about this. Don't just think about what's back here. Think about the muscles that support it. You have to strengthen your core muscles. You have to be strong in your core, both the front and also the side. And then of course, we'll also strengthen the back muscles and we'll do some good stretching as well. Um, it'll be nice, kind of mellow, middle of the road practice. And I think that you're going to enjoy yourself. Let's have a really, really good time. Now, sit up tall. Just find your posture first of all. Open your hands and place them on your knees. Let your thumb and index finger touch one another. Your palms are facing up towards the sky. So yes, we are beginning a little bit differently. We're beginning with what we are beginning with what is called pranayama or breath control. Okay, so here's what I want you to do. Breathe with me. Let's take a slow deep breath in and a deep breath out. Now when you exhale, squeeze your belly button and press your breath out. Inhale, allow your diaphragm to open. Exhale, gently squeeze and press it out. So already kind of feel the core connection here. Inhale slowly. Exhale, squeeze it out. One more breath like this, inhale. And exhale. Okay, now we're gonna add a pause on top. Take a slow deep breath in. Hold your breath in and gently squeeze your tummy. Gently engage your core. Feel your lower back kind of stiffen and straighten. And exhale. Feel the softening as your breath releases. Let's do it again. Inhale. Hold the breath in and just give a little support all around. Think of a girdle around your waist. Tighten it. Exhale your breath out. Two more times like this. Inhale. Hold it. We have to feel on the level of body, on the level of mind, on the level of energy, exhale all your breath out. And one more time, inhale. Hold it. Good, exhale your breath out. Now we're gonna switch it a little bit more, stay with me. Inhale deeply. Hold your breath in to focus you. Exhale all your breath out. And then allow for a little pause, be empty, 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 floating. Inhale. Holding, squeezing. Exhale it all out. Hold it out, empty. Two more rounds, inhale. Hold it. Exhale. Hold it and squeeze. 
And last one, inhale. Hold it. And exhale it out. Sit empty. And let your breath adjust. Inhale and exhale once or twice. Now just let your breath relax and ask yourself the question, can I feel in this moment that I am an energetic being, that I am a being comprised of energy? Can I feel that there is a force that animates my flesh and bones? Can I feel that there is a force that animates my mind? That's it. That's what we're going for. Identification with that universal life force energy, the infinite stream of energy. All right, let's chant our ohms, hands to your heart. Really nice intro to class. Take a deep breath in. Om. Inhale again. And one more inhale. Really good. All right, open your eyes up, everybody. Come onto your hands and your knees. We're going to move a little bit. So get yourself up right here. You know, it's really nice to be able to start class with a breath practice like that and just get yourself into the meditative groove even before we start the physical postures. Okay, so let's start with cat cow. Think of lubricating your spine. Inhale, your tail turns up, your chest goes up. Exhale, pull your belly in, round your back, tuck, let your head go. And do it again. Inhale, dipping. Exhale, rounding, ah, get it out, and a couple more times. Inhale, and exhale. Things like this exercise, inhale up, exhale round. This is something you could do every day to bring lubrication to your back. Inhale, lift your chest. Now, child's pose. Round, slowly go back. You start to feel more traction. You feel the pulling the stretching of that lower back. Inhale, come forward and lift. Exhale it out, go back, slow, slow. Feel the traction, pull, pull, pull it down. Inhale, forward. Exhale, round, 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 pull it down. That's ah, good, yes, let's do one more. And exhale, take yourself all the way back. Now stay in child's pose for just a moment. Go ahead and put your forehead down on the ground. One or two, three deep breaths. Is there anything that you want to let go of right now? Just release it. If your mind is active, just say, I can pick this up again in an hour if it's important. I'm just going to be a lump on a log right now. Just child's pose. And then let's walk over to the right side. And let your head go. So again, now you're going to get into your lower back, but you're going to be really focused on the left side. Your hands are going right. Your head is hanging in between. So much emphasis in our world is placed on doing, 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 doing. Come on back through the center. Yoga is about being. Yoga is about the quality of being. Not doing. Yes, you are doing a posture. But it's about the quality of being in anything that you are doing. 
And when you're not doing, when you're in rest, really allowing yourself to be. Giving yourself a break, giving yourself a pause. Nothing happens. The world doesn't fall apart if you give yourself a pause. Good. Come on back. All the way through the center, hands are forward. Rock forward to your hands and your knees. Let's get to our first downward facing dog. So we'll take our hips up and back. Now what I wanna work on specifically in downward facing dog is some leg opening. So everybody just start by kind of walking in place a little bit. One knee bends and then the opposite heel is gonna drop. And just do that a couple of times and you'll kind of notice the state of your shoulders right now. You'll notice the state of your hamstrings, the back of your leg, your calf muscles. And there's no right or wrong. It's just about observation. What I'd like us to try and do is bend one knee. So let's say I'm going to bend my right knee and let my left heel get heavy and drop and hang out and breathe. So one reason that lower backs get tight, well, I mean, of course, if you're sitting in a chair or driving in your car all day, but just a lot of moving around, walking around actually tightens And so it's important to get these legs open. You want to get your hamstrings open. You want to get your hips open. Take your right heel, let it drop. And when those leg muscles start to relax a little bit, it takes some of the pressure that might be pulling on the lower back. Open up your leg muscles. It feels good and it's good for you. Soup is good food. Take a slow, deep breath in and out. Here we go. One more. Lovely. Okay, come on down onto your hands and your knees. Practice your beingness once again. Child's pose. Take your arms back this time. Let your palms face up. Put your forehead on the ground. And we'll do about four or five breaths. Letting the back release, but at the same time, letting go. Good. Allow yourself to be present. Allow yourself to be peaceful. Allow yourself to be content. Stretch your arms forward in front of you, please. Rock forward onto your hands and your knees. So let's start to talk about plank pose because again, when we're talking about supporting the lower back, we wanna have that core strength. So you can either just lift yourself right up into a plank pose, it's like the top of a push up, or you could keep your knees on the ground and really just walk your knees back and shift yourself forward. That's a modified plank and it's totally fine. We're gonna hang out here for just a moment. So I'm gonna stretch my heels back. I'm squeezing, pressing my hands down. What I am not doing is allowing my pelvis to drop and my lower back to dip. So the whole time here, I'm squeezing, drawing my belly button up, scooping, hollowing out my lower belly. Take two or three more breaths. I'm gonna give you one pause, inhale and exhale back to downward facing dog. That's just to reset it for a moment. And then inhale, come forward again to plank. And this time I want you to come all the way down onto your stomach. Now, let's start it in a sphinx pose here. Elbows are gonna be down on the ground. So my intention is not to get particularly high here. Spread your fingers. Grab the floor. If you had claws like a cat, you would be able to dig your claws into the ground and then just try and draw yourself long. Again, create traction in your spine. Create lengthening. Open up the vertebra. Okay, open the joints up. Now, each time I exhale, I'm going to squeeze my belly button back. Feel that? Support. Inhale, I'm going to pull forward. Exhale, I'm going to squeeze my belly button back for support. Inhale, I'm going to pull forward. Do it three more times. Soften your buns a little bit. Don't clench. 
Kind of point your toes back, energize your legs, but try and soften the buns while you're doing it. That's really good, yeah? Exhale, come on down. Now, take your hands, place them right underneath your shoulders. This is going to be more of a traditional back strengthener, what I'm going to do with you, but we're going to keep it fairly gentle. Place your hands on the ground right under your shoulders. And then when we inhale, we're going to lift the chest and both hands off the ground. Okay, let's do it together. Inhale, lift your chest and your hands. You won't get that high. Lift it up. Exhale, take it down. Okay, again, inhale up. So it's like a really, really low cobra. You're not using your hands. Exhale down. Feet are on the ground, please. Feet are on the ground. Inhale, chest and hands. Now stay right there and let your hands touch down, but don't push yet. Just your hands are supporting. So this would be our lowest place. Engage your belly, pull your chest through. And those of us who want to go a little bit more, use some arm strength. Start lifting your heart up, opening the back bend. Back bends are great if you can move them into your upper back. Stay out of your lower back. If you can't do that, you've got to lower down a little bit. You've got to come down if it's hurting your back. Inhale and exhale. We're going back, downward facing dog. Mm. Huh. Okay, let's bring ourselves forward to the top of the mat. Look to the front, bend your knees, lightly step or jump, get yourself all the way towards the top of your mat. And then get into a posture where your knees are a little bit bent, a little or a lot, but just have some crack in your legs. And what that bent knee is going to do for you is help you to release your lower back a little bit more in the forward bend. We're going to put our hands on our shins, or we're going to put our hands on the floor if we're very flexible. Most of us, hands on the shins. Knees are slightly bent. Press into your shins with your hands and open your chest. Look gently forward, breastbone forward, and then exhale all your breath out. Fold towards your leg. Do it again. Inhale, open. Exhale, fold towards your leg. Again, inhale, open. Exhale, fold towards your leg. Now it's going to get a little bit different here. I want you to stay with me on this next one. Inhale, press your hands on your shin. Lift your chest open. Imagine that your back is like a tabletop. You want to get it flat. And if it's not flat, bend your knees. Even put your hands on your um, thighs above your knees if you need to. Get that chest flat, support, squeeze your belly button, and can you take your arms out to the side like wings? Now, if you don't know what I'm asking for, look at me in the, in the screen first. See how my chest is open, my back is pretty much flat, my knees are bent. I could put my hands on my knees if I needed to. Stay there, one more. Now exhale, down, 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 all the way, let your head go. And choose a forward bend here. We're going to be in it for a minute. If you want to put your hands on your elbows, go ahead and do that and dangle. If you want to put your hands on your ankles, do that. If you want to put your hands on the floor, do that. Doesn't matter. Breathing. I think part of why I love yoga so much is that when I'm deep in a posture and I'm breathing, my mind becomes empty. What am I doing right now? I'm just feeling what's happening in my body and I'm breathing. Take three more. I'm not trying to work out a math quiz. I'm not trying to figure out solutions to problems. Kind of reduce my world to the physical sensation and breath in, breath out. Breath in, breath out. That's it. Sweep your arms out. Come on all the way up. So yoga is not fancy. Yoga is reduction. Yoga is reduction. It's not addition. Yoga is subtraction. Yoga is about letting go. 
Okay, stand up tall, mountain pose for just a moment. Now everybody, let's just feel a proper mountain pose. In fact, let's do it like this. Let's step our feet together so that they're touching one another. And look down at your toes, maybe pick them up, spread your toes apart and kind of um, get your toes to really spread and kind of push into the floor. Now squeeze your legs. Imagine if this you're okay with this image, like if there was a boa constrictor that wrapped around up to your waist and it just constricted, it would push the two legs together into one. Feel that sensation of the lower body being pushed together and then the upper body is gonna come up out of it. Now support with your belly, shoulders roll back, palms are open and feel what it's like. Close your eyes if you can. Top of your head is being pulled on a magnet up to the ceiling. Feel what it's like to just be in great posture. And let me ask you again, can you feel, can you experience that you are an energetic being? You are comprised of energy. You are animated by a subtle current. Can you feel it? And the thing about energy is that the more you feel it, the more you bring your attention to it, the more it grows. Ah, that feels so good. Okay. You're at the top of your mat. Open your feet up about six or eight inches apart. Let's do a variation on chair pose. Chair pose is also a good strengthener for the lower back. We're going to kind of do a moving in and out of chair pose that'll be like this. Hands at your heart. Inhale, reach your arms up above you. Open that chest. Now, when you exhale, bend your knees and push your butt back. It's like you're trying to touch a chair. Take a deep breath in there. Lift your heart. Now, flap your wings. Go down onto your bent knees. Down, down, down. Let your head go. Inhale, sweep your arms up, chest up, heart up. Exhale, flap your wings down. Slowly, I'm not going quickly. Inhale, slow motion, up. Strengthen the back, exhale, stretch the back. You feel the yin and the yang of everything that we do in yoga. Inhale. Now hold it right here. Tuck your tail under just a little bit. Very good, we'll take two more. And last breath in. Now come through a sun salutation with me. Fold over your legs. Start to straighten them a little bit. Put your hands on your shins or the floor. Open and look forward. That's a breath in. And exhale. Let's all get back to plank pose. Top of the push-up. Hold it. Give me that core strengthening once again. And the first one will go down to the ground. Exhale. Down onto your stomach. Inhale your chest, your heart lift up. Lower it down, push yourself back to downward facing dog. Now sun salutes in general are a great stretch. Great way to warm up the whole body. A simple routine you can learn and do pretty much at any time. Let's get to the top of the mat, whether you step or jump or hop or skip, get yourself forward. Put your hands on your shins, open halfway. So that engages the back muscles. Exhale down, that stretches the back muscles. Now, arms out, breastbone lifts, and you come up. Look at me for just a second. Put your hands down, look at me in the monitor. I open halfway, so I've engaged my back. I fold down. Now, look how I come up. My arms go out, my breastbone is leading the way. You see how my back is engaged? versus if I came up like this. My back is stretched, that's not good, it's gonna pull your lower back, that's the wrong way to get up. I want your chest to open, even if you bend your knees deeply, open. Let's do it again, on our way down as well. Inhale, open your chest, sweep those arms out, bend your knees, open, open, open down. Look forward. Good, step yourself back. Very nice. Inhale on top. Exhale down. Now maybe we're going to hover and do upward facing dog if you're a little bit more advanced. You might do that variation. Downward dog.
really good. Let's take one more. So you're going to get to the top of your mat. Bend your knees. Step or jump. Some people kick into a handstand. And then come to the forward bend. Inhale all the way up. You can do whatever you like. Exhale, fold forward. Remember how you lift. Bend your knees. Arms out. Heart leads the way. Leading with the heart. Exhale. Whew. Okay, let's add variation. I'm going to add core strengthening variation into the sun salutation now. Inhale, take your arms up. We're going to work on our obliques, our side abdominal muscles. Exhale, fold down, look to the front, and gently step yourself back to the top of your push-up plank pose. Now, my hands will stay on the ground. I'm going to turn both of my heels to the right. If that's too much for you, drop your right knee onto the floor. But if you can, both heels turn to the right. You're on the side of the foot. You're pressing through your hands, and you're just going to squeeze. Feel the twist in your waist, and as you lift your hips, you're going to feel the strengthening of the side abdominal muscles. You are creating a girdle of strength to support your back. One more, and now let's come through the center. Turn both of your heels to the left. It's a plank pose with a twist. Some of you will go to downward facing dog. Some of you are going to flow through your back bend and downward facing dog. Here we are. What is the quality of your being? How are you being in the pose? Are you being calm? Are you being peaceful? Are you being mindful of breath? Are you being easy about it? Look forward and inhale. Bend your knees. Lightly step or jump. This is a practice. Put your hands on your shins. Look forward. Gently fold down. It's not a perfect. Sweep out. Come on all the way up. Exhale. It's like you control the knob on the radio dial. So if it's not quite in tune, you get to adjust it. Last one. It's going to have a new variation. Inhale, take your arms, reach them out and up. Now I'm going to give you two variations in this. One will be more advanced. We'll start with the more basic one. Let's look to the front. Take ourselves back to plank pose. Now I'm going to do the left side first. Do it with me on the left side. Start with your left knee on the ground. Spin your right foot flat on the floor. Take your right hand up. This is called uh, modified side plank. So you could be in modified side plank. That's your first variation. Some of us will be in full side plank, straightening both legs, stacking those feet, and hanging out there. Knee can be on the ground. Knee can be lifted. It doesn't matter. To make it a little bit deeper, again, knee can be on the ground. Take your back foot, your right foot, your top foot, excuse me, top foot, right foot, Step it back behind you onto the floor, off the mat, and try and reach the arm over your ear. I'm going to even roll up and look at the sky a little bit. One more breath, and come on back through the center. Take a moment. If you need child's pose, take child's pose, or downward facing dog. Rocking forward, dropping your knee, spinning your left foot flat, taking your left hand up. Now some of us are going to go to both legs straight. So knee on the ground or both legs straight is your choice. If you're going to go a little bit further, take the top leg, which is your left leg, and step it back off the mat. Even if your knee's on the ground, you can step it back a little bit. And then open, reach overhead. And slowly come on back through the center. You can do your push-up cycle if you want. Okay, from there, we're going to do a little bit of standing work. Let's take our right foot only. Step it forward up between your hands. Take your left foot, spin it flat on the ground. Now, let's talk about a couple variations of warrior one. First, take your hands, 
reach them up above you. Looking forward, back foot is spinning flat on the ground, twisting forward to the front. Where we have to watch out is the lower back. You don't want to dip it into your lower back, your butt going out, your lower back pinching. So pubic bone picks up, tailbone is drawing down towards the ground. For today's variation, I'm going to have you turn your palms forward and lean forward about six inches. Just lean forward a little bit. And as you're doing that, squeeze your belly. You know how if you think someone was going to punch you in the stomach, you would tighten your belly? Get that abdominal strength, but still breathe. Deep breath, just with a core connection. And now let's take it more to a back bend if we can. Keep it out of the lower back. Reach up. Try and go three inches higher with your chest, your hands, your heart. And maybe look up to the ceiling. You feel how it changes? You feel the change in the posture? Exhale. Go ahead and place your hands down on the ground. Let's go into a twist here. Spin onto the back toes. Take your right hand. It's going up to the sky. Oh, so good. One more. Ah, place your hands down. Step back to downward facing dog. And then roll through your push-up cycle if you want to do it. It's an option. It's not a requirement at this point. Ah. Okay, let's go to the second side. We're going to take that left foot. Step it all the way forward. The right foot is going to spin flat on the ground. Inhale, lift up, twist, look to the front. Make sure that your lower belly is drawing in, your tail is going down, you're nice and supported. And turn your palms forward and lean forward maybe three to six inches. Imagine your hand was on a wall right in front of you. So you're kind of pushing into the wall, you're squeezing your belly, and you're breathing and you're trying to lengthen. This is a good way, if you get any lower back pain in Warrior One, just lean it forward a little bit. That should help you. Now we're going to try and take it. Feel the switch in your body as you start going to the back bend. Come through the neutral. Lift up two, three more inches through the heart, through the chest. Maybe turn your gaze up. You feel how it goes into your upper back. Oh, exhale, place your hands down. Whew. Left hand goes up to the ceiling. That's the way. Inhale and exhale. Put your hands down. Step yourself back. Inhale forward. And take a child's pose for just a moment, everybody. Take a child's pose. You can have your arms forward. You can have your arms back. Okay, so try and take in anything about this moment that brings you into the present. So can you feel the temperature of your body? Is there any perspiration on your body? Can you feel your heart beat? Can you feel your breath coming in and out? Can you feel the sensation of your forehead on the ground? And just tell yourself, that's enough for me right now. That's enough. Just to feel my warmth, to feel my forehead touching the ground, to feel the present moment, that's enough. Mm. Good. Slowly come on back, up onto your hands and your knees. Let's move from here. We're going to do one more sequence, the standing sequence. We're going to take those feet, step them to the top of the mat. Look forward halfway. We've already been doing this. When you sweep up, your chest is open, your heart is open, and exhale. Bring your hands down. Okay, I'm going to take a little time out for Tetley. One second. If you want a little sip of water, go ahead and have it. Let's meet in mountain pose. Our last sequence is going to be 
um, warrior three, which is a standing balance, into Parsvottanasana, which is a hamstring stretch, into twisting triangle. You all know it. You've done this sequence before. It's not that complicated. This is a wonderful sequence, both to engage your back muscles, strengthen, and also to stretch out the leg muscles and release. So here's how we're going to do it. Right foot is going to stay forward. Left foot's going to step back, and I'm going to stand on my big toe. Now, I want to press myself up. I want to lift myself up. So I don't want to be here and be a slouch. Lift myself up. Take your arms out to the side. That's your poles to balance you. And see if you can get your left foot an inch, six inches, 12 inches off the ground. And folding forward. Nice. Good. You'll step back, maybe about three, three and a half feet, and fold right out over your right leg. You know, I do yoga every day sometimes multiple times a day, it's part of the job description. And yet, I can come into a pose and I can feel that profound sense of the word that's coming to me is rehydration. It feels like rehydrating myself, falling into a deep stretch and just Mm, that immersion in it, like a dry sponge hitting water and absorbing and expanding and just becoming waterlogged with energy. Keep your left hand down. Take your right hand up. It's such a good feeling. How could you not want to give it to yourself? All right, maybe your hand's on a block, maybe your front knee is bent. Let's take a couple more. And slowly down and forward. Open halfway. We're gonna do the second side, sweep your arms out. We're coming all the way up. Releasing your hands down. Again, just notice how you feel. Can you feel that you're being made of energy? Can you experience yourself like a hologram, like you're made of light, light and energy? Take your right foot, step it back, stand on your big toe, take your arms out to the side, okay? Try and lift your right foot up off the ground. Now, the reason I haven't folded forward yet is because when I'm standing up straight and I lift my foot, my back, engages and that's what I want for you. I want your back to engage and then lean into it. Keep the back engaged, leaning into it, leaning into it. Step back about three feet, fold over your leg. Maybe you're gonna put your hands on blocks. Maybe you're gonna bend your knee. Let your head go. Keeping your right hand down, taking your left hand, lifting it up to the ceiling. When we come out of this, we're gonna come onto our stomach. So hand down, step yourself back, rock yourself forward, lower down, take your legs, spread them so they're about as wide as your mat is. My feet are kind of on the outside edge or maybe even my feet are gently off the edge. You can kind of make a pillow with the hand. You can put your forehead down, you can turn your head to a side, it doesn't matter.
Take about three or four of your deepest breaths and observe your breath coming in and out. You feel your lungs expand. You feel the balloon of your belly pushing against the floor. Mm. Now let your breath go to natural. Good. Okay. So bring your legs back towards one another. Take your arms reaching forward. We are gonna do some back strengtheners here. We're gonna do a couple different things. Start with your arms forward. This is gonna be a variation on what we call locust pose, shalabhasana, locust pose. And you're gonna be lifting opposite arm and leg at the same time. So we'll start with right arm, left leg. Let's do it. Inhale, lift your right arm and your left leg. Look forward, exhale down. Lift your left arm and your right leg. So we're just gonna go back and forth. Exhale down, opposites, and up, and down. Inhale up, and down. We'll do it two more times. Up, and down. One more time, inhale up, and down. Now listen to this. You can lift both hands, both legs, keeping your arms forward if you want, or you can bring your hands to the small of your back. That's gonna be a little bit safer if you're not as strong. Arms are forward or arms are back. Whole body lifting, chest up, legs up, only the belly button's down. And lower. Maybe you wanna turn your head on a side. Maybe you wanna sit back in child's pose. But notice how wide the space between your thoughts can become. How wide can it become? Let's bend both of your knees. Now, if you're not going to do a full bow pose because it's too much on your back or anything like that, you can repeat the locust that we just did. You can do cobra pose. You can do sphinx pose. But I'm going to bend my knees and take one hand back, two hands back. And from here, I'm gonna kick my feet, open the chest, come up. Now it's upper back, strengthening, lifting, heart opening, exhale down. Kick those feet, lift the chest. Don't come so high that you pinch your back. Exhale down. Two more, up. And down. Good, and last one, up and breathe. Try and stay up, I don't care if you're high or you're low, make sure you're not pinching. Try and get it to your upper back, open your heart. Breathe into your upper lungs. Inhale, and everybody comes back now. Ooh, child's pose, yes. Very good. So let's do a child's pose where we open our knees to about the width of the mat. Open your knees up about as wide apart as your mat is. Big toes are touching. So again, we'll be careful in our lower back in this one. We don't want to go back to the point where we pinch, but this is about opening the fronts of your legs. We've done a lot of work on the back of the legs. So try and sit up. And if this is not good for your knees, then just stay forward. Put your hands back behind you. So the first thing you could do would be to lift your hips up off your feet. Try and tuck your tail a little bit. You could stay right there. Or you could keep it tucking and drop the butt back down to the feet. And then just recline a little bit. Recline back, bend your elbows. Some of you will be able to get down all the way onto your elbows. Some of you will be able to get down onto your back. I'm just gonna stay up on the hands. So no reason to pinch, breathe. Tucking, tucking, tucking. Ah, quad stretching, come forward. If you're on your back, come to your elbows. 
come up, elbows down on the ground. Now I'm going to take my right arm over in front of my left knee. See how I did that? I call it the arm wrestling twist. You know it. Elbow down in front of your knee, hand up like you're going to arm wrestle. Now you can put your palm in palm to make a prayer. I'm going to take a fist with my top hand and put it in the palm of my bottom hand. That just keeps the wrist a little straighter. And then I'm moving into this twist. I'm letting the right shoulder fall towards the ground. My head is not on the floor. Rotate. Hmm. Let's go to the second side. We take the left elbow, move it over in front of your right knee, palm in palm, right elbow up, twisting. Very good. Slowly come on back. Bring yourself forward onto your hands and your knees. Okay, do a couple of cat cows. What I'm gonna do next with you is something that we will often do in the beginning of a class, but we're gonna do it right now as a strengthener, both for the back and for the core. So you're gonna feel both sides, the front and the back side. So we're going to lift the right leg, extend it back and up. That's my inhale. Feel that for a second. Hold the leg up. Feel the strength. Exhale. Pull your knee in slowly. Hold it there. Breathe. Feel the core strength. Now move through it. Inhale back. Exhale, core. Inhale back. Exhale, core. One more. Inhale, take it back. Stay there. Now I'm going to add balance. Left arm comes up alongside you. If you want to try for one more element, holding the balance, exhale, elbow to knee. Left elbow crunches to the right knee. Inhale, extend. Exhale, crunch. Now you can leave this one off. Inhale, extend. Or you can practice it over time. You'll be able to do it too. Inhale, extend it away, holding it right there. Put that left hand on the ground. Now here's where it's gonna get a little funky. Bend your right knee and get funky in a good way. Okay, knee is gonna bend. If that's all you can do, fine. If possible, take your left hand back, catch your right foot, kick it, and open it up. So one more, and exhale, come on down. Second side, left leg is gonna go back and inhale. Exhale, knee to nose. Keep moving, inhale, back, exhale, core. Inhale, back, exhale, core. Last one, inhale, take it back, take the right arm, lift it up. And now, if you want to throw the crunch in with me, elbow to knee, don't touch the ground. Inhale, extend. Elbow to knee, extend. Elbow to knee, extend. And last one, elbow to knee, crunch. Inhale, extend. Keep the leg up, put your right hand down, bend your left knee. You could stay just like that. Even just lifting that foot up, that's going to be a strengthener for the glutes and for the back. Go ahead and take your right hand back if you can. Now it becomes a deeper back bend. Very good. Inhale and exhale. Go ahead and bring it there. Do a child's pose for me. Round your back. Go back. Okay, next posture in this sequence is going to be Ustrasana or camel pose, camel pose. All right, this is how you're going to do it. 
Take the top of your mat, fold it over once or twice, however much padding you need. Fold it over just a little bit so that you have somewhere to put your knees. Where has the time gone, my friends? It has really flown by. So let's do a camel pose, then we'll come down on our back, and it's time to finish up our class. Inhale, take your hands, reach them up above you. Interlace your fingers. We've been talking about it all day. Tighten your girdle, lift your pubic bone, tailbone goes under you, and start to give me a back bend. Upper back is open. Never let your butt go out. Keep it under, lift your heart. Bring your hands back, one, two. Now I'm holding my waist. My fingers are on the outside. My thumbs are pointing towards one another. I'm gonna push down with my hands and lift my chest up. Tail pushing down, chest lifting up. We could stay just like that. Some of you maybe turn your toes into the ground, reach back for your heels. This is much deeper, so if you're concerned about pinched lower backs, don't do this variation. Get a nice open upper back wherever you are and come back. All right, onto your back. You know, it's important to recognize that sometimes, depending on the degree that you're doing something to, it can be medicine or it can become poison. So you have to decide to what degree do you take it? Does your ego push you to go to the deepest stage because you think that's what you have to do? Because then your medicine can turn into poison. You wanna find where's that perfect balance, where's that perfect edge where things just feel right. Knees are bent, feet are on the floor, hips are gonna lift up for a cobra, uh, a bridge pose, excuse me, bridge pose. Hands interlaced beneath you, squeeze them. Lift them up. Mm. Good. If you want to switch and take it to a full wheel pose, hands by your ears, that would be a good option today. You're welcome to do it. Ah, let's take a twist on our back. Um, you can do really any twist that you want. Here's the one I'll offer. This is kind of middle of the road. Left leg is gonna go straight on the ground. Right knee is gonna pull in and let's twist and drop our right knee down to the left side, taking your right hand out and twisting. Remember, what we're looking for, what we're focused on is the quality of our being in anything that we're doing. Come on back through the center. The quality of your being as you're doing. Right leg forward. Pull your left knee in. Mm. And it can be hard to stay focused on the quality of your being when you're running around and you've got demands and people want things from you and kids need to be picked up or whatever the heck is going on. But your breath is always there. Your breath has never stopped just because you forgot about it. So in any moment that you can remember Deep breath in, deep breath out. If I'm one minute late, the world's not gonna end. Breath in, breath out. If I hit the red light, the world's not gonna end. Breath in, breath out. Come on back through the center. And it's time for our final Shavasana. 
So let's do a basic little energy awareness guided relaxation. Stretch your legs out. If your lower back ever feels sensitive, you can always put a pillow under your knees or you can bend your knees and put your feet on the floor. That would be fine. Start by feeling the energy in the soles of your feet. Imagine that the only place in your body that you can feel is the soles of your feet and they are sizzling right now. They're vibrating, they're popping. They're cracking, they're sparking energy in your feet. Feel that energy travel up through your shin bones into your knees, from your knees into your thighs. Now feel the energy popping and cracking and vibrating in your hands, palms of your hands. Moving up through your arms, your elbows, your upper arms. Feel it pour into your chest. Feel your heart center full. And move down into your belly, your navel center full of energy. And then bring it up into your face. So much sensitivity in the face. Move it into your brain. And finally feel the energy that surrounds the body, not within you, but all around you. Let's take some nice deep breaths in and out. Ah, maybe reach your arms overhead. Whew, point your toes. We are waking up ready for our day. Ah. Be open to all the evidence of good things happening for you today. You started your day off right. You've taken care of yourself. Ah, sit up nice and tall. Hands together at your heart. Finishing with an OM. Take a breath in. OM. Good. Rub your hands together, make them warm, take them down over you, and namaste. Thanks for practicing with me today. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up.